In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and install Game Controller 2 Touch for Android. It does require root access. You will need to have your device rooted. On my channel, I have many, many, many tutorials on rooting anything from the HTC Hero up to the uh, Shield and soon the uh, Note 3. So if you want to root your device, just uh, click on this video. Click where it says how many videos I have. Check out all my other videos. And I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description that says click here for my other videos or whatever. And you can just search, you know, or you can just go to YouTube.com and search www.joshdw. If you have a Galaxy S3, just search Galaxy S3 root and you'll find my video. So we're going to go to the Google Play Store and then you're going to need to press search. And then it's going to look like this right here. Game controller to touch. Now, it is a fairly new app, so it's going to be a little bit down there, but uh, I will have a link to it in the description so you can actually click on it, and it'll automatically download to your device from Google Play. So here it is. It is by Catalyst06. It has that little icon right there. We'll just press install, accept, and we'll let this download. And when you open it up, it's going to ask you for root access, so be prepared to do that. We're going to enable it by going here and then pressing G2 touch, press OK, and make sure you press the back button on your device. And then for the input method, you'll want to switch that to GC2 touch IMEI. It should ask root access. If you do not see this screen, you are not rooted, and you need to root your device for this to work. And at right there it says Game Controller Detected, NVIDIA Corporation. This will work with the Moga Pro, and it will also work with the PlayStation DualShock controller. And he also supports other controllers, and this app will keep being updated, and it will support even more controllers in the future. So uh, it says currently active profile, none. That's good. We need to go to configuration. We need to go to controller input assignment. And then we can just sit here and go D-pad, press the up button, D-pad right, press the right button, D-pad down, press the down button. And we'll just keep going down the list. So triangle is obviously going to be Y, circle is going to be B, cross is going to be A, and square is going to be X. That is if you're using the NVIDIA Shield. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky part. Uh, what you can go ahead and do is just press the little volume button, and that'll be your select button. And then for start, you can press the start button. So that's how that works. And then, so like R1, we can press that. L1, we can press that. R2, we can press that. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> L1, R1, L2, R2. I got a little ahead of myself there. That wasn't the controller's fault. L3, just click on the left joystick. R3, just click on the right joystick. And he also made this neat little thing here. It says L stick axis. Move the left stick left or right. Move stick up or down, and then same thing with the right one. Move it to the right or left, and then move it up or down. So now we have all of our things assigned. We can go to Touch Profile Editor, and it says that the eight-directional swipe is still in beta. If you have any problems, please e email this guy right there. So you'll need to long press on your screen, and you'll need to press Add Button. So we can go ahead and use the left analog stick, and we'll set it to a three, and we'll put that... Well, no. We can remove it. And how you remove it is you press on it, you long press somewhere else, and you hit remove button. So let's do that again. Well, let's choose a little bit smaller of a circumference like area. There we go. That looks about right. And then you can long press on here, press add button. And to, uh, for cross, we'll put this in the middle here. So whenever we press on that, it'll stop our, our thing. And then we can add one more button which is, uh, let's say, no, let's make this cross. Button's already on the screen, so we'll put that right there. And then we're going to long press on somewhere else, choose button properties, and we're going to do swipe up. And then like a three, let's do a three. And then right here, we'll make this the break button. So we'll go ahead and assign the X, which is the square button. Put that on like two, for example, put that there. All right, now we have a break, which is the X button, which translates to square. And then we have the A button, which translates to this. cross, which is our boost. So we're going to need to long press somewhere on the screen. Press more, change input method, change that over to your normal keyboard, whatever you want to use. Long press again, choose more, and then save profile. We're going to name this NFS, and we're going to press done, and then OK. And then it's going to ask if I want to overwrite. That's because I've already set up a profile. I'm just going to go ahead and press yes. 
and then uh, you'll need to long press on it, press more, choose input method, go back to this. Now, uh, one thing is you can import your touch profile. If you're using a controller and it's sticking, you can actually set a dead zone in percentage. So, and if you don't see a keyboard, just go over here, go up here to your input method and change that to like Swift key, for example. And then we'll go to the dead axis again and then left and then we'll put it like 20%. And we'll press OK. And now it'll be your dead zone. So you'll need to go back and you'll need to change the active profile to NFS. And then now you can change it to G2 Touch and that'll work. Now, if you're in your actual touch profile and you have G2 Touch enabled, you're not going to be able to do anything. See, you have to go back up here to input method, choose Swift key. Then you can go here, press none, and then you can go back to G2 Touch. And then you go to configuration and you can change something. And then you can just, you can go to load profile right here, choose this, and bam, there you go. You can make some edits, uh, move this right here. And then if you, once you do change something, you gotta always go back to input method and then long press again, and then more, and then save. And then we'll change it to N F S. And then overwrite if you want to. And then you can long press and choose change input method back to GC2 right here, or you can press the back button and you can go to change input method and do that. But to get the active profile, we need to change it to our normal keyboard, change the active profile, and then go back to this. And you'll need to see the little icon up here in the top in your notifications. Now we can open up an app like Need for Speed Most Wanted. And when we move the joystick to the left, you're seeing the little buttons on the screen that thinks that I'm touching it. The square button or X is square, which is my brake. And then my gas, my boost is the A button. So we're gonna load up this game here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just go to Easy Drive and we'll start it to, ooh, I could buy a car. Hold on. Let's go back to that little map there. Go back, new. Uh, I don't really want it, but I like spending money. So, <laughs> Easy Drive, checkbox. We'll get, um, whatever, we'll get this. And then we'll choose like, so nitrous burn and the power pack. And we'll hit the little race button. And hopefully when the game starts, we'll actually be able to use our joystick here and go left, right, and press A, which is a, imi imitates a swipe up on the screen. Sweet, look at that. I'm using my freaking joystick to control Need for Speed. If you want to see a video, because I'm recording my video shield right now, uh, I'll link to that video in the description below. So if I press A, well, that makes me drift. I set that up wrong. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually set it to do a swipe up on the screen, which boosts like that. All units I need to go back in there and edit that and fix it. But uh, yeah, dude, playing with a joystick, makes this game so much easier. If you have any problems with the app, just let the developer know by sending him an email and do not you know, go on the, on the Play Store and say you have problems. It won't be able to help you. Just send him an email, let him know what the problem is, and he'll do his best to fix it and get you set up. I need to fix that word. I get things set up. I, what I used to use was I would, you know how I have the left joystick controlling the steering wheel? I had the right joystick imitating a swipe up on the screen, like it thought that I was swiping up and that was activating my boost. So you can either you can either use a button that makes it look like you're swiping up on the screen, or you can use your right joystick and just swipe the joystick up to activate boost. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that real quick for it in the video. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna long press, I'm gonna choose remove, and then I'm gonna go here to add button, and then I'm gonna add the right analog stick, and I'm going to make that like a two, and move that right there. And then now I'm going to go ahead and just save this. Go back, choose input method, 
or no, sorry, don't choose the input method. Go to Active Profile, choose an FS, go to Input Method, change it to that. Now we'll launch Need for Speed. All right, so we'll hit Resume, and we'll race. Sweet. Swiping up on the right joystick activates my boots now. So let me get some more boost here. And the cool thing about using the right analog stick to activate boost, if you move that to the left like this right here, you can actually drift. swipe up to activate our boosting game. Ah, right. This is bad. But yeah, man, this is freaking awesome. We were able to actually, you know, like barely move it to navigate just a little bit to the left or barely move it to navigate a little bit to the right. So, uh, yeah, I obviously failed because I wasn't trying to do it. I was trying to show you how to work the app. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom left. It'll notify you when I post new videos on the NVIDIA Shield, the Note 3, the S3, the Note 2, the just everything. This is what Josh do, and I'm out.